In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the dark and orange preset using your phone. You can use this preset on a dark skin model. You can use this preset on a light skin model. You can use this preset on animals. You can even use this preset even on landscape photography. Hi guys, my name is Eustace and if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. I'm going to put the preset in the description below. If you want to download it for free, you have to watch the video until the end because I'm going to put the discount code on top here. It's going to appear in the video, which you are going to use at checkout. Let's do this. Go to your Play Store or Apple Store and then look for Lightroom. So go to Light and then set the exposure to zero, contrast to 50, highlights, negative 25, shadows, 45, whites, negative 80, Blacks, 60. Then go to Curve. Uh, make this shape. Drag it up somewhere here. And then make a point here. Put it somewhere there. And then make another point just here put it somewhere there and then done then go to colors temperature leave it at zero tint leave it at zero vibrance take it to 50 saturation take it to negative 10 and then go to grading here we are going to start with the shadows then we are going to set our saturation to 5. Just tap on this circle until you get 5 there. This small circle outside the big circle is the one you are going to use to set your U to 220. I'll drag it up until I get the 220 on the U. Somewhere here. The mid-tone, I'm not going to do anything with the mid-tone. I'm going to move to the highlights. I'm going to set my saturation to 10. Just keep on tapping inside the circle until I get 10. So 10. And then I'm going to drag the small circle, this small circle outside my big circle until I get the U of 220, 220. I'm rotating it until I get the U of 220 here. I'm just going to press on done here. And then I'm going to move to mix. So the first color is the red color and then followed by orange and then yellow and then green and then cyan and then blue and then magenta and then purple. I'm going to start with red here. I'm going to set my U to negative 15. And then I'm going to set my saturation to negative 50. I'm going to set the luminance to 15. And then I'm going to move to orange. I'll set the U to negative 10. Saturation to negative 24. Luminance 25. And then I'm going to move to yellow. I'm going to set the U to negative 100. I'm going to set the saturation to negative 30. Luminance, I'll take it to 25. 25. 24, 25. Then I'm going to move to green. I'll set the U 
to 0, saturation to negative 100, luminance 0. I'm going to move to cyan. U, I'm going to set it to 0. Saturation, I'll take it to negative 100. Luminance, I'll leave it at 0. And then I'm going to move to blue. U, 0. Saturation, 100. Luminance, 0. And then I'm going to move to magenta. U, 0. Saturation, negative 100. Luminance, 0. And then I'm going to move to purple. U, 0. Saturation, negative 100. Luminance, 0. I'm just going to press done here. Yeah. And then I'm going to move to effect. Texture, 0. Clarity, 60. Diaz, 20. Vignette, negative 10. And then I'm going to move to details. I'm going to set the sharpness to 20. Radius, 1. I'm going to set the noise reduction to 35. And then contrast, 0. Color noise reduction, 0. Details, 50. Smoothness, 50. This is our before. This is our after. I'm just going to press on details here so that I can I can make this disappear. I'm going to copy this filter. I'm going to go on these three dots on top here. Select copy settings. I'm just going to, to click on this check icon here. And then I'm going to go back. And then I'm going to look for another photo. And then I'm going to go on these three dots. And then paste the settings. So it's our before, it's our after. I want to go back, then I'm going to select this photo. And then I'm going to go on these three lines. And then I'm going to select paste settings. So it's our before, it's our after, it's our before, it's our after. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to look for another photo. And then I'm going to go on these three dots. And then I'm going to paste the settings here. So it's our before, it's our after, it's our before, it's our after. If you want to retouch fast and level up your retouching skills, you should check out my retouching actions pack. The link will be in the description below. If you want to learn how to retouch using my retouching actions pack, you should watch this video on top. And if you want to learn how to retouch in less than 10 minutes, you should watch this video down here. I'll see you in the next one.